when we talk about the rate of diffusion, when we talk about how particles move in a liquid medium or a gaseous medium, it is hard to not talk about how fast this diffusion is going along that liquid or gaseous medium. Now, this speed of how fast the particles is diffusing or dissolving from in a liquid or a gas is what we term as the rate of diffusion. The rate is simply means this, how fast these particles that is being dissolved or being diffused travels through that liquid or gas medium. So, the variety of ways, the many things, factors that affect the rate of diffusion. We're going to talk about two of them. First is the temperature and how that affects the rate of diffusion. And then secondly, we're going to talk about how the mass of the particle that is being diffused will go, okay, in that liquid or gas medium. First, temperature. Temperature affects the rate of diffusion simply because if you heat up the container or if you're in a very hot room or you have a beaker of water with warm water, what you will notice that the rate of diffusion is much faster. Now why is that? That is because when you have a higher temperature, you are introducing more energy. There is more energy in that system. The system being the hot water in the beaker or the warm water in the beaker or that warm room that you have. All right. When you introduce particles or when you dissolve particles in, uh, in water or you spray that perfume in a warm, warm room, you will see that the rate of diffusion is much faster because those perfume particles or that food dye particle is traveling at a much faster rate. Why? Because it has more kinetic energy due to the high temperature. When it has more kinetic energy, it moves faster. And so does the, uh, so does the, what you call, the kinetic movement of the water particles or the gas particles or the air particles in the air. Those will move very pretty fast too. But the particles that we're interested in, which is the food dye particle or the perfume particle, will move very, very quickly. All right? So it's like the zip all the way there. Well, as at lower temperatures or, yeah, when you have a cold glass or a cold beaker or water, uh, yeah, cold water or beaker, cold beaker or water, yeah, that's the right word, the kinetic energy in that system is much slower. So the water particles are moving slower, the air particles are moving slower, and so would your food dye particles will move slower, and also your perfume particles will move slower. And so what that means is that this, the rate of how fast it travels from one end of the room to the other end of the room, or from the surface of the water to the bottom of the beaker, that will go much slower as well. Secondly, mass. How does mass affect the rate of diffusion? Now, when you have something that's massive, something that's big and heavy, that thing is going to move at a very much slower rate. Why? It's simply it's a simple logic. For example, when you have a big truck, even though that truck has a thousand more horsepowers than a regular, let's say, a motorcycle, which has maybe mm, 100 horsepowers or maybe just 50 horsepowers, that motorcycle will travel and will take off much faster and will reach to a, a top speed at a much faster time than the big old truck. All right? It's kind of like two people, athletes running, a sumo wrestler and a really, uh, let's say, a swimmer. All right? A sumo wrestler will run a hundred, will do a hundred meter dash at a much slower rate than that swimmer, all right? So it's the same when it comes to talking about the rate of diffusion when you talk about the mass of those particles. Massive particles will travel much slower than smaller particles.
That's it. These are the two factors that affect the rate of diffusion.